Hi guys, welcome to Sammy's channel. I'm Tim Mousy from the Drazzle channel. This is a new video about single channel and dual channel RAM, but this time we are using APU without a dedicated graphics card. What is APU? The easiest explanation is that this processor is doing all processor calculations and producing graphics at the same time. A two-in-one, you might say. In this test, I will use AMD's platform, its A8 6600K CPU FM2 socket. Don't mistake it with Intel i5 6600K Skylake. Let's look at the PC config. The RAM I will use in that test is one 8GB stick and two 4GB sticks, Crucial Ballistics 1600MHz CL9. The test will be made in four games. Let's begin. In Minecraft, the dual channel is performing much better than the single channel. But still, the single channel is able to give us over 60 FPS. That's only because there's nothing around here. Look what happens when you join an online server. Plus with some mods. For example, like this attack on the B-Team server. The dual channel is showing a much better result. In Skyrim, Dual Channel is giving us a chance to experience full HD resolution, despite the fact that the graphics details are on the low setting. GTA 5. In both cases playing the game was painful, even if the dual channel is giving me more than 30 FPS. Vanishing textures are not making the game comfortable. The Witcher 3, just the fact that it started on this platform is a big success. In both cases it is impossible to play, despite that the dual channel is giving 50% more frames. As you can see the dual channel is performing way better. So if you own an APU like this, or you are thinking about getting one, make sure that there are two sticks of RAM on the board. The benefits speak for themselves from 50 to 100% and more FPS. But hold your horses, I'm not done yet. Since we have found that the dual channel is very worth it, what about faster RAM? Let's find out. Now in this test, I will use two 4GB sticks of Crucial Ballistics 1600MHz CL9 and two 4GB sticks of G-Skill Ares 2133 MHz CL10, where the CL10 is only one of the clocks. 
the rest of it is CL12, so technically they are CL12. First thing that you can spot is that the memory clock on the GPU is higher. That is because of faster RAM. When it comes to performance, 2 or 5 FPS is what we see at the most. In GTA 5 it does not benefit us at all, we'll have to trust the average FPS. However, the reason for this is that the vanishing textures are no longer a problem. In my opinion, it is a big difference. When it comes to The Witcher 3, not much changes. Two extra average FPS did not change anything. Should you get faster RAM? If you own an APU from Intel, for example Celeron, Pentium, i3 or i5, 1600 MHz, it's enough. It is the same when it comes to A4 and A6 series from AMD. However, if you want A8 or A10, especially A10, faster RAM is what I recommend. I hope this video was helpful. If so, you know what to do. Hit the like button and subscribe for more interesting videos. See you in the next one guys.